What is going on guys? It's Rob from Heroes Avenue. Happy Tuesday. We're going to be talking about the release the air cut event that happened last week. What David Ayer had to say about it. We got some new things coming out of that event that really surprised me. We have a Black Canary project in the works according to Daniel RPK. We'll talk a little bit about that. And then the Shang-Chi early reactions seem to be really incredible. So we'll talk about and read some of those reactions as well. Before we get started, please do like the video and subscribe to the channel. And I do want to apologize for missing yesterday's video because I'm still recovering from Darren's bachelor party that happens this weekend. And it was incredible. If, if you're new to the channel, Darren is the uh, my boy who, who runs this channel with me, We're both partners on this channel. And he might be even posting a video tonight. So we'll see. He's probably still recovering as well. Uh, but anyways, let's get started with the first topic of the day. The first topic is going to be about the release the air cut trending event that happened this past weekend. Uh, David Ayer responds. Let's check out what David Ayer had to say about that. And he says this. Just saw this. Holy shitballs. And then the release the air cut uh, Twitter account, of course, a big part of this trending event. This trending event was actually supposed to happen on August 5th when the Suicide Squad released. But if you guys have been following, David Ayer is uh, is is in very good in a very good relationship with James Gunn. Now, I might have stated that a little weird. He's very cordial with James Gunn, and they have a good relationship. That's how I should have stated it. So David apparently had asked people to move the trending event to this week, and it hit. 625k so that was that is amazing that is just crazy a lot of people probably are tuned into what's going on right now because of it um and i just gotta say there are i think the release the air cut uh twitter page itself right here uh definitely give them a follow oh i thought i was following them already i guess i wasn't but um uh here's one of the big things like the picture that's been uh, floating around. I don't know how they got this. I imagine David Ayer probably sent it to them, but it is an image of Harley and Deadshot hooking up in in the movie. And apparently, this movie is um, it, it needs very little work, much less work than what the Snyder Cut needed to be completed. And a lot of the uh, scripts were actually script pages were leaked online, and you get you can see some of the nuances in the scenes and everything like that. I'm not going to go ahead and read every script but it just it just a lot of the scenes when you read through them it goes to show how much this movie has been changed david ayer has been very vocal um not toxic but he's been very vocal about what uh what the differences are from his movie um but obviously uh we are hoping to see that movie play out at some point or that movie be released so Hopefully, with the merger with Discovery, we can potentially get this movie. David Ayer, I was actually on his Twitter account this morning. Actually, let's see if we can find him. But he was on his um, Twitter account this morning, and someone had asked him whether or not that there's any movement. Did this did this movement make any noise so far? And I believe he mentioned that there has been no word yet as to uh, any movement on the release to air cut project now that's not to say you give up hope it's just to say we keep on we keep on talking about the movie because that's the way uh we got it done with the snyder cut you kept it going you know for a lot of the times for years we didn't hear anything zach kept it quiet even when it was in the works so who knows maybe at some point we'll get this movie i do hope we get it now if uh some of you read through the script pages uh let me know what what, what one of the biggest changes are that you saw that you are hoping to see in the movie? Let me know in the comments down below. Now let's get on to topic number two. Topic number two is Black Canary. Now, I know a lot of you guys are, um, a lot of you guys and a lot of you guys who follow us on Twitter are uh, really big um, Birds of Prey fans. Now I gotta admit, after watching Birds of Prey multiple times now, I get... I, uh, I like the movie a little bit less. I mean, I just think it's okay. I think it's okay. But there are some standout things that I did like in the movie. I especially liked Jer Jermé, Jermé Smollett Bell's Black Canary. I actually, um, I really enjoyed her character. And I've enjoyed her as an actor, seeing her in Lovecraft Country soon after. Um, well, not soon after, but after that. I think it's the only other project I've seen her in afterwards. And she was great in Lovecraft Country. It's a shame that movie's not moving forward on HBO Max. But hopefully they can keep her in the family, the HBO family, with a uh, Black Canary HBO series. Not even asking for a movie, just an HBO series. So here's what I'm coming from right here. I'm on, um, so I'm on DC Verso, um, and they're 
quoting apparently Daniel RPK and I don't know if I've seen it himself tweeted but um, this is translated by the way it says hashtag black black canary HBO series uh, as stated by Daniel RPK who has been wrong and right at times so again the fact that he's been right at times means you can take this uh, we you take it with a grain of salt but you take it with a little bit more weight so I hear there's a black canary project in development and it says detail he didn't put it in the rumors tab um, so man this I think this so this black canary HBO series or it was make the black it's like make that black canary series or something on HBO there was a trending event for black canary um, earlier this year if I remember correctly um, in January let's go see if Daniel RPK um, posted about this recently I don't I don't see a recent post regarding um, re regarding this uh, this this potential project but I think there is enough interest there uh, to uh, to have a movie or I'm sorry a TV show with Black Canary in it or even make it a movie hell make it a movie and introduce Oliver Queen Green Arrow uh, that would be incredible and of course you know we've been championing on the channel since day one get Charlie Hunnam as Green Arrow it's just a perfect fit uh, but anyways going back to uh, Black Canary you know I think uh, again, she was definitely a standout, and the fact that she has a trending event for her alone, um, and she has a, a big fan base out there, more so than the Peacemaker uh, character in the Suicide Squad, I think maybe warrants a chance for this character to live a, a little bit longer on HBO Max. Now, um, you know, there's obviously I, I enjoyed Huntress uh, out of that movie as well, but Kathy Ann is another director who kind of got shafted by uh, WB. Um, there's a lot of things and creative things. I think Gail Simone was on Twitter the other day and just mentioned that, hey, um, the Cassandra Kane that Kathy Ann wanted was not the Cassandra Kane we got. What we got was this what the studio wanted, which was totally a departure from the comics, obviously. So I would love to see Jermaine Smollett Bell uh, continue her character. She continues to be on Twitter advocating for this character, posting her selfies with her reading comments or reading, reading comics. Uh, Black Canary comics or uh, comics with Black Canary in it. Uh, so she's a big fan of the character and she really is living in this role, even outside of uh, 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 having an actual project in development. Or maybe she does. So that would be awesome. Let me know what you guys think about a Black Canary HBO series. Would you watch it? And if you don't currently have HBO Max, would you hop onto HBO Max to watch it? Because ultimately, at the end of the day, it's all a business and this show would need to drive more. Uh, viewers and I think um, I think it definitely has a little bit more appeal than a peacemaker show that's all I gotta say because uh, Suicide Squad uh, while I enjoyed it uh, it definitely didn't make me like the peacemaker character all that much by the end um, but not to say that was a bad thing so I don't want to spoil anything if you haven't watched it yet but anyways let let us get to the last topic of this video and it has to do with a movie that I was not really excited about I I wasn't excited about it really until today. To be honest, I don't even know when it comes out. Let me, uh, but we'll check out when the release date is. Um, uh, but let's first take a look at the reviews, guys. Um, so that's how unexcited I was for this movie until I'm starting to see these reactions pop up online. So let's just take a look at some of them. Um, by the way, I I first saw John Campia's out of theater reaction, and that guy was almost. Man, he was just jizzing in his pants. That's how excited that guy was about it. And I think he he just called it one of the best comic book movies since Logan, if not the best. And that is a huge statement. Obviously, you come out of the movie, you're incredibly excited. I am prone to doing this, to being way so way too excited and giving a movie such high marks right off the bat just because you're so excited leaving the theater. And um, let's just read other people's what they had to say. Uh, I'm just I just literally searched the latest uh, the top comments on Shang Chi and it says. Chang, Drew Taylor says, Chang chi is an absolute triumph, unexpectedly spiritual and emotionally complex with some of the very best action in the MCU. Simu Lu uh, is your new favorite Avenger and the movie's myriad of influences, everything from Jackie Chan to Hayao Miyazaki, pay off big time. Oh, I'm excited for this. That, that, that just makes me so excited for this movie. Now, again, the trailers didn't, it looked cool. I thought the trailers were cool and I think I reacted to one of the trailers, but they didn't blow me away. Um, and I'm excited to see some of these influences um, from uh, other aspects of the Asian culture and pop culture and how amazing does that sound right there. 
Um, let's see who else had to say some things. Brandon Davis says, Shang-Chi director Dustin Daniel Cretton brought some something fresh, so, uh, so fresh to the MCU. So much style and heart. The action is absurdly epic. Simu Liu is a legend. He nails the action sequences, brings the heart, and is great timing with Aquafina. Bravo. Now, I don't remember with Simu Liu. Was he, she, was he in Craig's, not Craig's, um, Kim's Convenience Store? My girlfriend used to watch it, and I'd be watching in the background. I'm not sure if that's where he's from. Um, but I haven't really seen him much uh, in, in any any um, other projects. But uh, I have seen Aquafina and some stuff. She's actually a pretty great actor from what I've seen so far. Um, and I do believe did she didn't she start out as a rapper? I'm not so sure. But anyways, um, I'm glad to see that their chemistry. I mean, she she looked like she, she looked like her character and Simu Liu's character uh, did have some chemistry from the trailers. I, th- I thought the timing of the comedy was cool. So. I'm excited. Wendy Lee Zaney, who was uh, once part of Collider, says Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings is phenomenal. Get hyped. Even fight scene action sequence is better than the last or every, she meant to say. Simu Liu fully embraces the Marvel superhero role. Amazing, Im- amazing imagery. Killer soundtrack. You want to see this on a big screen. Hashtag uh, Shang- uh, Shang-Chi. Shang-Chi. I'm not sure how exactly to say it. Um, Chloe Zhao is here at the premiere. Looking like she was hitchhiking. Someone p- posted that online. I thought that was pretty funny. Um, so we got some cosplayers there and grace of course grace getting a lot of hate online lately um, like you guys don't understand this isn't just a good MCU movie shang chi is top tier for Marvel solo movies so her top tier is Black Panther Thor Ragnarok uh, Captain America Winter Soldier I would put the first Thor in there instead of Ragnarok that's just me but she uh, grace seems to like it but grace tends to like and not like certain movies in a weird way so Kind of like seeing her perspective in that way. Cause she always has weird takes. Let's see. Let's go one more. Let's see. Okay, well, here's continued, Grace. Shang-Chi is one of the best best movies. Very uh, very long. Lots of story. Tons of action. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Gofina hater. She was my favorite. And kudos to VFX department. Next level stuff with those rings. MCU will never be the same. I'm hyped for this. Actually, I don't even think I need to see anymore. Let's go, Umberto. Umberto Gonzalez from The Rap. Let's go one more. Shang-Chi was a blast. Actually, Marvel's first true family movie that has a lot of heart, loads of fun, great fight choreography, and likable characters galore. So, does this not hype you guys up for this movie? I'm super excited for this movie now, where I wasn't before. I definitely was not before. And it, a lot of it filmed in San Francisco. I remember when it was being filmed. Uh, I saw it like it was on our, um, I don't know where you guys are from or watching this from, but it was on the news, uh, you know, when the Marvel movie was filming over here in SF. I'm excited, man. I'm excited. And uh, let's look. I just, you know what? I actually don't even know when this movie comes out. Shang-Chi release date. Um, September 3rd. Okay. Oh, we got some We got some time. So I'm going to definitely watch this in the theaters. Um, I, I watched Black Widow in the theaters. So uh, there was a little bit of fear, especially with the Delta variant and everything coming out. Um, but I'm definitely going to watch this in the theaters. Um, so I'm excited. Let me know what you guys uh, think about the Shang Chi early reactions. Of course, early reactions early reactions tend to be positive, um, but uh, I'm a pretty positive guy for the most part. And I I think coming out of this movie, I may be excited. I might I might be just as hyped as these people. Um, we'll see though. We'll see. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see some footage from. Darren's uh, bachelor party. I'm not going to post any crazy stuff, but I'll be posting on my vlog channel, uh, Rob McBunwa Jr. Um, I think I have it linked to this channel. Check it out if you want to see more of that. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.